A uh, roller coaster has a velocity of 25 meters per second at the bottom of a hill. How high was it? Oh, look, there's a nice picture here. Let's take a look at this picture. It's a nice summer day. Look at the smile on this guy riding the roller coaster, enjoying an energy transformation. All these nice kids, they start off up here at the top of the hill, all the way at the tippy top. That's the initial condition. Then they come all the way around, and here's the final condition. Conservation of energy at its best. You start off with one form of energy, and you end up with another. You know your initial energy will be equivalent to your final energy. The initial energy you start off with is potential energy, or gravitational potential. So you start off with MGH worth of gravitational potential energy, GPE, and your final energy at the bottom, I'll write below so we can say it, is one half mv squared kinetic energy. So the PE lost is the KE gained. It's interesting. What is the force that's doing work on this roller coaster as it descends? Give you a hint, it pulls down. It's gravity. So mg is the force. And its displacement or its height change is in the direction of gravity. Therefore, the work is positive and it speeds up. It's interesting. Another thing, the speed at the bottom will be independent of the mass because all things fall at the same rate. Interesting, mass is on both sides of the equation. So to solve for the speed, we only need to know the gravity field strength and the height. If I rewrite, and I'll just switch the equation, we end up with 1 half v squared will be equal to g times h. So if we want to get v by itself, we're going to multiply both sides by 2. 2's will cancel, and v squared will be equal to 2 times g times h. Take the square root of both sides. v will be the square root of 2 g h. And that, that's the height we fell from. We made a little bit of a mistake here, though. We did not want to solve for v. We want to solve for h, so I'll just rewrite. It's only going to take a moment. We still know that 1 half v squared is gh, so actually it's a lot easier. And if I rewrite one more time, sorry about that, 1 half times v squared, so the 1 can go away, is equal to g times h. So dividing through by g will do it, and we're good to go. So the height that this, these kids fell through on the coaster, with the coaster, is v squared, which will be 25 meters per second, quantity squared, divided by 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. Solving for h, 25 squared divided by 2 divided by 9.8 will reveal the answer. These guys fell 25 meters per second. It took them about 3 seconds. They fell through 31.9 meters. Pretty tall roller coaster. Probably not as tall as the one in the picture, but you get the idea. The picture is helpful. Have fun, kids!